Hi, this is Trey Soleri from the Datadog Solutions Engineering Team. Today I'm going to cover generating metrics from log events. So to give you some context of the logs that I'm bringing in, here is my live tail where I'm actively collecting logs in real time. And I can select one and see my log event that has the attribute of score, and in this case 26. This is the attribute that I'm going to convert to a measure and a metric inside of Datadog. So I'm generating these scores from my application. These could be payment amounts, latency time, or any other type of quantitative value you'd like to measure and track as a metric inside of Datadog. And if I move over to my Log Explorer, I'll be able to see all the logs that have come in over an extended period of time. And I'm going to select one of them. And under the score attribute, I'm going to click on score, click create measure for score. It's gonna give me some information about what we're doing. We're creating a measure for quantitative value, like, like latency, for example. I've given it a name of score, and I'm gonna add this to my list of facets and measures over here on my left side, which I can then search through and actually find that particular measure. And then I can scope it, say, between 37 and 57, and now I'll only see log events that match that particular query of score 37 to 57. Now from here, I'm gonna extend this even further and actually create a generated metric from this log. So to do this, I went to logs, generate metrics, and now I'm gonna click on new metric, and I'm gonna define a query just like I do when the log explorer to narrow it down based on my service tray underscore logs. And under the count dropdown, I'm going to select the measure score that I just created to say this is the metric or the attribute that we wanna create a metric for. I'm not gonna do any group by or using tags and key values at this point. I'm gonna have it as a standard score if I needed to, I could scope it down by a dimension of index or service, environment name, or any other key value tags that we're collecting inside of Datadog. I'm then going to give it a name, score from logs, and I'm going to create my metric. And once this is run, metrics will start being generated from this log event that is filtered down by service, tray underscore logs. And now I can quickly come over and see in Metric Explorer my metrics that have come in. And here you can see over time, these are the metrics that have been extracted from the log event that have been ingested into Datadog. Now we can use this concept to take these metrics and use it in graphing, observability, alerting, monitoring, and machine learning in Datadog. It will be treated just like any other metric that has been collected via an integration or an API or any other method that we have for collecting metrics into Datadog. So again, thank you so much for watching this tips and tricks video. I hope you found it helpful. And I'd recommend watching some of the other valuable tips and tricks that we have provided in this video list as well. Thank you.